Hi, in this video I'm going to go over a few plugins that we install on just about all of our WordPress sites depending on what they're for. Um, but for the most part we install these plugins on all of them uh, for one reason or another. So uh, let's get into it. There are a, a number of different plugins that we install um, for a number of different reasons. The first one is W3 Total Cache and that's something, uh, let me show you here. If you go to your plugins page, just click add new up here and you can do a search for this. And you see it right here, W3 total cache. So you would just type that in the search there, you'll find it and you can easily install it and activate it. And what that does is it creates a cache um, of your site. So it, basically it causes your site to load faster um, when the users come across an article or the home page whatever. Um, the cache already exists and allows it to load much faster. And that's very important especially uh, currently with Google um, they look at that, they really do look at the load speed and that can affect, affect your rankings in Google. Uh, but primarily, mainly, the number one thing is the user experience. If your site is taking, you know, three, four, five seconds to load, that's a long time. And a lot of users, visitors are impatient, they'll just close it. I know I've done it many times. If I you know unless it's a piece of content that I just really is really important I won't wait if, I, if I'm sitting there for three or four or five seconds for it to load I'll just close it I mean I know a lot of people uh, will too so it's a really big benefit for the user experience and also for Google uh, they will not rank pages that load uh, take too long to load so that's the first one W3 total cache is what I use there's a lot of different ones out there uh, this is a very stable one that's been around for a while so it's a good one uh, next related posts and again there are many different ones out there the ones we, the one we use is related posts via taxonomies and again you can just copy that or just uh, type that into uh, the search function within the plugins page the add new plugins page you can find that and install it and what that does is it adds uh, if you open up a post, it adds related posts to the bottom of the of the article. Now, this is a new site that you're looking at here, so we don't have a whole lot of posts there yet, so it's only showing a couple. Um, but the more there are, it'll just add a list there, and you, you define how many you want to display there. But there are two primary benefits to this. Number one, uh, for Google, again, uh, it helps with your internal linking structure. It helps distribute that authority of your website throughout your internal pages. So let's say, you know, one article, uh, one post gets a whole lot of attention out there and gets a bunch of links to it. So there's a lot of authority pointing into that one article. Well, you have a good internal linking structure um, that will help distribute that authority all throughout your entire site to help your whole site and not just that one page, um, while that one page still retains a lot of authority. So um, it's really good to get as many internal links on each page as possible without going overboard and related posts are a really good way of doing that and they're also related so they're highly relevant so it's a good structure a silo structure within each page um, and then second just the user experience and that's really probably should be first the user experience you know they get done reading a relevant post about something they're interested in and then they get to the bottom and they see other relevant posts which they very well may in a percentage will uh, go to and read so that will help your bounce rate and it helps also with Google so it's a double positive there next limit login attempts and that's not something you can see obviously uh, the plugin we use is called limit login attempts and what that does is you know a lot of WordPress sites are vulnerable and there are a lot of hackers out there just constantly going after WordPress sites uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you don't use admin as your username because that's common so what these sites these people will do is go after WordPress sites and then go after WordPress sites that use admin as the username once they find all those people all those sites then they'll just start brute forcing just all kinds of you know thousands or millions of different password variations and just find all kinds of WordPress sites that are vulnerable that they have access to now then they can insert their AdSense code or whatever you know they're trying to do uh, so limit login attempts it makes it to where they can only do um, so many login attempts failed attempts before they aren't allowed to even access the login page anymore so that's a very important plugin for WordPress sites I highly recommend you install that that's limit login attempts and again I'm sure there are other uh, plugins out there that do the same thing this is the one we use it seems to do uh, well 
The next one, Floating Social Bar. We use Floating Social Bar uh, for this site here. Uh, there are all kinds of social bar, um, social sharing plugins out there, but I highly recommend you install something that allows your users, something prominent that they can see, um, that allows your users to share your content. That is a, one of the biggest ways that content is consumed these days via social media, especially Facebook, but also uh, Pinterest, Twitter, all these different big social media uh, sites especially Facebook um, but just make sure you have some kind of social sharing um, on your site you do not want to have a website uh, in this day and age without social sharing being prominent on every one of your posts um, just very very crucial these days uh, the next thing is Facebook comments and for the same reason uh, we use Facebook comments now you can just use the regular built-in WordPress comments uh, but you're, the same thing is going to happen it's just going to be a comment on your blog but the difference is if you use Facebook comments you know most people are logged into their Facebook account most people online have a Facebook account and if they're viewing your article they're probably online they're, <laughs> well, they are online and they're probably logged into their Facebook account so if they're logged into their Facebook account they come here they're viewing your article they come down they say oh I'm logged into Facebook here I can comment and now that comment along with the link to your site is going to show up on their Facebook wall so that is a very beneficial thing that can get more traffic to your blog post get more exposure um, just a very advantageous so highly recommend you use Facebook comments um, we use that on all of our sites now we don't even have the standard uh, WordPress comments anymore and the plugin we use for that is Facebook comments by Fat Panda right there and the same way you can just type that into the plugins page do a search install and activate that and there are other Facebook comment uh, plugins out there as well it's not just this one there's plenty of them out there you can choose from and you can use a different one it doesn't matter as long as it does the same thing um, but this is a trusted one we've been using for a while you can also do it manually through the Facebook developers page if you want to go that route but the plugin just makes it easier quicker and easier to do the next one is a read more copy link and this is a plugin just started using this particular one um, but the concept of what it does has been around for a while a lot of people use it and what it does is let me just show you here um, if you copy if someone copies any of your content and then they go to paste it whether it's on their blog or whatever it will add this line here and you can customize what this says you can remove the link if you want and just have a copyright statement or, or leave the link in there and it just adds attribution to you as, as they should in the first place but this does it automatically so especially automated tools out there um, they're going to also copy this and, and pull that over to wherever they're publishing it as well um, and again you can remove your link if you want and just have the copyright or you can leave them both in there we leave them both in there um, and it does well so that's a good one that we uh, recommend that a lot of people use too. Uh, next, a mobile app. And that depends on, you know, most themes, especially most new themes out there, are already responsive, meaning if your website is pulled up on a mobile phone, like let's say an iPhone, it's going to change the display of the website so it uh, the content isn't all, you know, garbled up on there on the phone and hard to read. It just removes a lot of the extra stuff and shows more of the content. So it's easier to read on a mobile phone. And these days it's not uncommon for a site, depending on the demographics and the niche, etc. But it's not uncommon for a site to get more traffic from mobile devices than from desktop devices and, and, and laptops. So, um, it's and it continues to grow the more people get on, uh, you know, our... A mobile, a mobile access to the internet with smartphones, etc. So it's only going to get uh, more and more uh, as far as mobile access. So you want to have a mobile version of your website. And like I said, most newer themes already are responsive, but many still are not. So if you have a theme that is not, you'll want to find a good mobile plugin. Now this website that we're looking at here is responsive, so I don't have a plugin installed, uh, but there are plenty of plugins out there. Just go to the plugins page, do a search for mobile uh, mobile website, mobile friendly, whatever, just mobile, um, and you'll find a lot of a lot of them out there. Just look at the reviews. Uh, the higher the star rating and the number of reviews, uh, the more trusted it probably is. Um, and go by that, and you'll find a good one. Just make sure your website is responsive, meaning it's mobile ready. 
Um, and another one, the last one, Sumo Me. And this is something, again, this isn't installed on this site either uh, yet. This is a new site. We will get it installed. Uh, but <clears throat> let me just show you what that is. It's called Sumo Me, S U M O M E. And this is a plugin you can install. Um, they have several different features to it. You can see all these things are included in the plugin. I really like this right here, though, the scroll box. If you click on there, uh, you can see what it does. So you scroll down here, and what it does is it adds this slide up or slide over. You can configure it to either slide up or slide in from the side. And it's just a really quick and easy way to build a list. And I highly recommend you building a list no matter what niche you're in. Uh, and this is a really easy way. And the reason I really like it is because it's not intrusive like a pop-up. And in some niches, you, you don't want to be too intrusive. Um, but no matter what the niche is, it's going to be noticed. Uh, because it slides up on you or slides over on you while not being intrusive. So you're going to want to either enter your email and get it or close it. So you're going to get action on almost every visitor. They're going to see it, but yet it's not annoying because it's not over all your content. So I really like that. It's really easy to configure. Um, you just configure it uh, with your you know, AWeb or GetResponse, whatever you use. Um, really quick and easy to do and really quick and easy way to build a list. So highly recommend that. And that's it for the plugins. Those are, for the most part, those are the plugins we install on just about all of our WordPress sites. And I highly recommend them, and they will help you out in one way or another. And of course, there are also paid plugins out there all of all different sorts that can do some very powerful things. And we're actually about ready to launch a brand new plugin, a new paid plugin uh, for a very low price that's going to help you get traffic and links to your brand new blog posts. So keep an eye out on that. You can actually sign up. Click the link that you see right now on your screen, and you can go there to sign up to be one of the first to be notified of the launch and to get a special pre-launch discount. So I hope that helps. Thanks.